Okay, it's about time for a new update on my chili breeding project. Near the end of September, I went through my little plantation of chili plants and checked them out and, well, made a first harvest. And once again, I must admit, it is a little bit embarrassing. I blame the move in the mid of summer. But let's quickly shuffle through. Number one. Hanging orange roots. A few per node. And a very small harvest. One of them not even completely ripe. Number two. A bigger red fruit. Just one of it. And not many new fruits per note. Number three. No fruits ripe yet. Not even nearly. Number four. Fruits that stand upright and ripen to orange. A little bit more and not all of them completely ripe. Number five. This one I checked out earlier and they ripened red and this is the one that I didn't consume of the two I harvested. And a few also dropped off by accident and I will show you them as well just to be complete. There they are. I doubt that they will turn in color. But we'll see. Number six. Orange fruits. Which stand slightly upright. And, well, not an okay harvest, but at least there's something. Number seven. Well, no completely ripe fruits, but one that is about to turn. I would guess that they would stay orange, but I can't tell you that now. Number eight. Yep, that's a little bit more. Orange fruits that are hanging and many, many per note. Let's take them off. Bam. That's uh, not a big harvest, but in comparison, it is quite large. And a few dropped off by accident again. The 
those if you have already dried up and shriveled. Let's have a closer look. The shape varies somewhat between the fruits. This one is a bit more like a bell pepper almost. And here you can see nicely how the color changes. And these will turn orange even after the harvest. Well, here. Different stages of color change. And I will put some of the ones that are certainly ripe aside for seed harvest. Yep, nice. And let's try one. They're on the hedge. Sorry, some juice must have sprayed into my throat. Okay, it doesn't hurt in my tummy, but it was hot enough in my mouth. Um, meaning when I pressed my tongue against my palate, my eyes slightly teared up. And it did not taste like a habanero, for example. You know, the slightly soapy taste that's not for everyone. So I guess it will be number eight that will be propagated in the next generation. The fruits are small enough, the taste is not that of a habanero, and they are hot enough. There are many fruits per node, it ripened early and in an acceptable quantity. It would be nice to have red fruits, just for aesthetics, and the fruits could have been a little bit smaller, but I guess number 8 wins by default, by outcompeting the others. It's hard to pin the much larger quantity of fruits to just dumb luck. I guess there's something about number 8. To sum it up, 